for the all-time record for triple doubles for a player coming off the bench in a reserve role. Um, after everything you've been through since being traded to the Lakers, and to do this in the context of a win, is there some personal pride that you take in, in the fact that you've weathered the different roles and, and the different coaches, and et cetera, et cetera, to be able to still impact this team the way you've done it in other stops um, and seemingly are continuing to, to get more and more comfortable? Yeah, man, you know, um, like I've said before, man, I, I'm so grateful and, and so blessed that um, like I, I can't give myself the credit, you know, for anybody else taking the man above God himself has, has blessed me and so much strength and, and belief in him um, allows me to go out and, and do the things that I, I know I'm able to do with this game um, and with this platform and the way that I know I can play the game. Um, I'm just trying to prepare myself mentally each and every night um, to be ready to compete regardless of what position or what things are thrown at me. Uh, I know uh, with the faith and the belief that um, I can do anything um, I never worry, never waver, try to stay consistent in, in my craft and, and find a ways to better impact one. When you get the name that left front, I think, from the mind, from, from this group? Um, anything come to mind? No, other than you play for the Sonics. You know, that's about it. Russ, <laughs> 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 I'll do some YouTube search after. Uh, Russ, uh, maybe. I'm not on YouTube. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, you've talked before about how much you, you want to see your teammates succeed. 17 threes tonight, a lot of them on the end of your assists. Um, you know, how, how good did it feel for this team, do you think, in the locker room to see, kind of see the floodgates open with the group on shooting? Um, great, man. Um, like I've said before, I, I embrace and enjoy seeing guys. Uh, put the work in and seeing it come to life. You know, we see guys working, uh, shooting, working on their game, and then have, have an opportunity to be there. See it come to life in, in the game is, is amazing. It's contagious, as you can see tonight, and uh, it was good to see that you know, from a lot of those guys. Russell, no, knowing that this was coming off the bench was a big adjustment for you in terms of routine. I mean, it hadn't been something you had done since your first month or so in the NBA. 30 game, 30. I think tonight is your 31st game doing it. Um, yeah. Have you have you adjusted fully to this yet? Is this like to this part, to this role? Does it feel comfortable? Um, I'm a hooper. Um, I can do anything, anytime, anywhere. Uh, whatever is asking me is what I'll do, and I'll continue doing that until further notice. When. We want, when we see you guys kind of line up against the, the starting five uh, and that, that Orlando put out there, I mean, seven foot two, six foot ten, six foot nine, like pretty much across the board. How did you guys combat that size as a group tonight? And, and what did you see from kind of the force that you guys played with against them? Um, I think Speed did a good job of rebounding um, and getting out of the break, um, using our speed athleticism, even though they're big. I'll be able to attack them a little more um, and get in the paint and make plays for others. So I think it's beneficial for us. Last two questions. Ross, how do you compare the game against of Dallas? I think you guys started really, really well, but they yeah. didn't finish strong enough. And then this team of Lando has won eight games out of the ten. Uh, what was the difference between those two games and what can you tell us about? Um, I think the third quarter. Um, third quarter was big. We kind of went this the They made a run, but we went in the and played. Right away, um, and I think that was a difference tonight. Last question. Russ Jerry with the Magic Insider. You know, Paolo didn't play very well tonight, but uh, he's done incredible things so far during his career. What was? Have you, did he get a chance to talk to him for a little bit? See if he's, uh, you know, what, what do you think of his game so far? I didn't. I didn't get a chance to talk to him um, at all. But I know uh, just from seeing some of the things he's done, uh, he would be a hell of a player years to come. But I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Thanks. Thank you.